Hello students. In this video, I will be discussing about the scalar potential Now, if F is irrotational, then curl of F is equal to zero. Now, if we consider we will always have curl of grad phi equal to 0. Now grad phi is dou phi by dou x i cap plus dou phi by dou y j cap plus dou phi by dou z k cap. This we can write it as summation dou phi by dou x i cap. Now curl of F, this is I J K dou by dou x, dou by dou y, dou by dou z, F1, F2, F3, which is summation dou f3 by dou y minus dou f2 by dou z i cap. The remaining terms of the curl can be obtained by cyclic change of f1, f2, f3, i, j, k, x, y, z in the same order. Now, if I replace f with with grad phi, then f1 is dou phi by dou x, f2 is dou phi by dou y, f3 is dou phi by dou z. So curl f equal to summation dou by dou y of dou phi by dou z minus dou by dou z of dou phi by dou y into i cap. Now this will be summation dou squared phi by dou y dou z minus dou squared phi by dou z dou y i cap so curl of grad phi equal to a zero vector this means f is irrotational implies curl of f is 0 which further implies because curl of gradient is always 0 when we have curl of a vector equal to 0 then f is gradient of some scalar potential this phi is called scalar potential. If vector f is representing velocity, then the scalar, then phi will be the scalar velocity, velocity scalar potential. And if h is, if f represents the magnetic field, then phi will be the magnetic potential and if f is the electric field then phi will be the electric potential
if f is irrotational we also hear the word conservative field say for example if we take f equal to 6xy plus z cube i cap plus 3x square minus z j cap plus 3x z square minus y k cap show that f is a conservative field and hence find its scalar potential so the first step would be to find curl f which is summation do f3 by do y minus do f2 by do z i cap so this will be do f3 by do y will be minus 1 minus do f2 by do z is again minus 1 i cap plus do f1 by do z will be 3z squared minus do f3 by do x will be 3z squared j cap plus do f2 by do y do f2 by do x will be 6x minus do f1 by do y will be 6x k cap so curl f is a zero vector this implies f is conservative field or irrotational this implies f can be written as grad phi so by definition grad phi is do phi by do x i cap do phi by do y j cap plus do phi by do z k cap this implies f1 is do phi by do x f2 is do phi by do y and f3 is do phi by do z now grad phi dot dr is d phi that is do phi by do x dx do phi by do y dy plus do phi by do z dz we substitute for do phi by do x do phi by do y and do phi by do z we get f1 dx plus f2 dy plus f3 dz so d phi equal to 6xy 
प्लस जेड क्यूब डी एक्स प्लस थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस जेड डी वाई प्लस थ्री एक्स जेड स्क्वायर माइनस वाई डी जेड नव दिस इज विल कॉल इट एज इक्वेशन वन वन इज एन एग्जैक्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन as curl f is zero therefore phi equal to integral f1 y z treated as constant plus inti this will be with respect to dx integral terms of f2 without x now here z is treated as constant plus integral terms of f3 without x and y this will be dz here this will be dy we can add a constant of integration c therefore phi will be integral 6xy plus z cube y and z treated as constant we integrate this partially with respect to x plus now terms of f2 without x that will be minus z dy but here z should be treated as constant plus now first term has x second term has y so third term would be 0 equal to c a plus c so this will simplify to 3x squared y plus x z cube minus y z plus c so this would be the scalar potential that we were looking for we consider another example vector f is as shown the first step would be to find curl f which is summation do f3 by do y minus do f2 by do z i cap so this will be 3x squared z squared minus do f2 by do z that will be minus 3x squared z squared i cap plus do f1 by do z that will be minus 6xy z square minus do f1 by do x that will be minus 6xy z square j cap plus do f1 f do f2 by do x that will be 2y minus 2x z cube minus do f1 by do y that will be 2y minus 2x z cube j cap so we see curl f 
is a zero vector implies f is irrotational and f equal to grad phi with dou phi by dou x so this is dou phi by dou x i cap plus dou phi by dou y j cap plus dou phi by dou z k cap so this is f1 dou phi by dou y is f2 dou phi by dou z equal to f3 now grad phi dot dr is equal to d phi so we have definition of d phi given by this expression so we have f1 dx plus f2 dy plus f3 dz so d phi is y squared minus 2xy z cube dx plus 3 plus 2xy minus x squared z cube dy plus 6 z cube minus 3 x squared y z squared dz since this is an exact equation we can write phi to be integral f1 dx with y and z as constant plus integral terms of f2 without x and z constant this will be dy plus terms of f3 without x and y this will be dz plus the constant of integration so phi equal to integral y squared minus 2xyz cube dx y and z are constants plus integral there are three terms in f2 but only one term without x so this will be 3 dy here z is treated as a constant plus integral now in f3 we need to consider terms which does not have both x and y so we have 6 z cube dz plus c so this will give us x y squared minus x squared y z cube plus 3 y plus integral 6 z cube will be 6 z power 4 divided by 4 plus c so this is 5 It is given that phi of 1, 0, 1 equal to 8 and we have phi here. So substituting x equal to 1, y equal to 0 and z equal to 1, 
we get this is six by four plus c which is equal to eight this implies c equal to eight minus three by two that is thirteen by two therefore phi of x y z is equal to x y square minus x squared y z q plus three y plus three by two z raised to four plus thirteen by two so this is the required scalar potential